if you're a data center nerd and you really wanted to dive into the actual configuration, how you use Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller to create fabric, add switches to the fabric, verify all of those policy things that we talked about in the previous section of the learning path, this is really the section for you. It's the last one uh, focusing on the operations and using MDFC to uh, establish and monitor a fabric. So the the learning path or the, the, the section of the learning path will take you through really all of the practitioner level pieces of NDFC. So understanding how NDFC goes about building its fabrics, how to operate the UI and in manipulating and creating a fabric and adding switches and doing switch discovery, uh, customizing an existing fabric with some policy attributes that you learned about in the previous section uh, with the policy engine and seeing how it was actually applied, looking about compliance checks and even uh, diving into the um, being able to create uh, a fabric from scratch. And that's actually what I'm doing here right now uh, in one of the final labs. Uh, it's a little burly. Uh, it's like 121, 122 steps, uh, but it really walks you through end to end uh, the creation of a fabric using the Easy Policy Fabric Creator, uh, discovering switches, which I'm about to do now, uh, adding those switches to the fabric, and then, like I said, uh, putting all those uh, policy attributes and, and monitoring and, and management here so you can see those switches are, are up and available uh, like we would expect them to be in a lab. Um, really, this is, if you're looking to... Whereas the previous learning uh, sections of the learning path were really focused on the operations piece, which is important. You need to make sure that your uh, Nexus dashboard platform is up and functional. You need to understand how uh, Nexus dashboard does all the admin stuff, you know, licensing and and policies, and making sure that you're you can monitor the fabric and understand that it's it's correct and in sync. This this final section is really focused on uh, how you dive into uh, the creation of the fabric, building it up, understanding the 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 steps in the order of operations, which are very important, and then how we insert the the switches into that that fabric. So this is this is the piece where if you're if you're actually having to do this in practice. Um, spend a lot of time on dive into, uh, you know, obviously there are defaults that are set in the lab, um, you know, in terms of passwords and discoveries and things like that. But because the lab is yours to use, uh, kind of, you know, as you're going about playing this, uh, there's no harm in understanding, well, what happens if I shut down this interface? How does it show up in the, in the Nexus dashboard itself? Or if I, I remove this configuration policy from this one lease switch, or maybe the spine switch, uh, how does that reflect? And how do I go about doing uh, my configuration checks and, and looking if my configuration is in sync. Uh, and then how do I rectify that based on the policy attributes that I've, I've created or the policy sets, I should say, within within NDFC. So um, throughout all of your learning in this in this um, uh, through the learning path, uh, the thing that I can't stress the most is is these labs are there for a reason. They're there to help you uh, further your studies. Uh, and, and yes, it is possible to just click through and follow the steps. And there's even a uh, piece there where you can do, do it for me. In fact, if I were to mouse over here, you can kind of see where it says, show me how to do these. Yes, you can have the lab do that. But uh, because these, the, the, the learning path is meant to be hands-on, it's meant to be practitioner level. And we do have to complete those post-assessments at the very end to get those magical learning credits. Um, it's really important that you, you take the time to learn and understand uh, and and break a few things. But we're engineers. That's that's why we do what we do. It's not just about how do we configure something, but uh, what do we do when when things break and things at the fan, and and how do we rectify them? And what are, what are the the symptoms? And how does it manifest within the platform? So, uh, throughout this entire learning path, uh, take the labs for, uh, seriously. Uh, Nexus Dashboard is an incredible platform. Uh, lots of features, lots of customization, and DFC on top of that. Again. If you're familiar with DCNM, uh, this will feel pretty familiar, but uh, I would encourage you to uh, look at some of the differences between the two, especially as it comes to the APIs if you're coming from a DCNM world, uh, just so you can understand. In fact, there's a, a, a section in, in the, the final part about migration from DCNM to NDFC, so you'll still get to see understand some of the differences there. So don't skip lab day, dive in, don't just configure the lab, but break it, see how it manifests, and then see how to fix it. And I guarantee that uh, through all of that acquisition of knowledge, you'll probably have no problem passing that uh, post-assessment.